Mingalabashin, I'm Helen Regan and these are the top stories from Bullet Points. Police have been lining the streets of Mandalay today after a riot broke out late on Tuesday evening outside a tea shop. An angry mob of about 400 gathers in a Mandalay street. They surrounded the Sun Tea Shop on 27th Street, shouting and throwing bricks and stones. Rumours on social media accused the Muslim owners of raping a Buddhist woman. That accusation was posted by blogger Dit Tu Luin two days ago. It was then shared on Facebook by nationalist monk Wiratu. The original post has been removed. The rumour was enough to trigger the riot and several Muslim-owned shops were ransacked. Cars were also smashed and a mosque was damaged. <laughs> Riot police were called to restore calm and fired rubber bullets in the air around midnight. The crowd was finally dispersed at three in the morning. Police say five people were injured, including a policeman. The owners of the tea shop have denied allegations of rape. Damages have been awarded to a Karen girl who was kidnapped in Thailand in 2009. The girl known as Air was enslaved and tortured by a Thai couple for four years before managing to escape. A Thai court awarded her $150,000 in compensation, but her former captors remain on the run. The Human Rights and Development Foundation says this case could set a precedent. So this kind of the case now will be the precedent for the lawyer to apply to help the other victim. And also this case now will be like a, the case that we can advocate now to the public. Four and a half thousand people face resettlement as construction continues at the Thilawa Special Economic Zone. Environmental Resources Management Japan will partner with local firm eGuard in compiling impact assessments. Those already displaced have protested against the severe health impacts of relocation. Tesco Chairman Sir Richard Broadbent is in Burma today to meet with Aung San Suu Kyi. The British supermarket is renewing supply chains before a possible launch of a flagship store in the country. Su Chi says she would give her blessing to ethical British businesses looking to engage with Burma. That's all from Bullet Points. Find out more at dvb.no. Thanks for watching.